Hello guys and welcome to this tutorial on using ArcGIS. Today I'm going to explain how to assess the accuracy of elevation data using ArcGIS software. This elevation data guys it could be any kind of elevation data like SRTM and ASTER data. These are available for free as you know. And also you can use this method for assessing any kind of digital elevation model or digital terrain model or even digital surface model. So the same method could be applied uh, for assessing any kind of digital elevation data. Today I'm going to assess the accuracy of an elevation data, in fact, that I have produced previously. I explained in two separate videos, guys, how to convert a topographical map into a digital terrain model. So these are the videos, part one and part two. In these two videos, guys, I explained, I started from a topographical map like this. This is a topographical map. And then I applied some steps like digitizing the, the contour lines. These are the contour lines uh, digitized from the map. And then I use these contour lines to generate the final digital terrain model. Today, I will focus on how to assess the accuracy of this digital terrain model that I generated from a topographical map. To do this, of course, to assess the accuracy of any kind of elevation data, there are a lot of methods. Okay. Today, I'm going to focus on one method, which is comparing the digital terrain model that I have, which is this one, against another digital terrain model with a bit better accuracy, with higher accuracy, which is LIDAR. the same area and the spatial resolution of the LiDAR DTM that I'm going to use is two meters and is very accurate in terms of elevations. Of course you can use uh, any kind of uh, land surveying technique for assessing the accuracy. You can uh, survey the area, this area, you can survey the area using total station or robotic total station or GPS or any kind of surveying technology and then to assess the accuracy of your DTM but today I'm going to focus on how to compare my DTM that I generated from a topographical map against another DTM generated from LiDAR data which is very very accurate one okay and this method could be applied to assess the accuracy of SRTM data and also ASTAR data or any kind of digital elevation data or digital terrain data, as I mentioned before. So this is the uh, DTM generated from LiDAR data. If you look, the appearance of the DTM is the same. In fact, you can't tell about any differences between this one. This is the LiDAR DTM and this one, which is the DTM that I generated from the uh, topographical map. But this one is very accurate, uh, as I mentioned before, and its elevation accuracy is about 5 centimeters. So the spatial resolution for my LiDAR data, which is uh, my reference data now, is 2 meters, and the elevation accuracy is about 5 centimeters, which is very accurate. So the main stages of assessing the accuracy would be, first, I'm going to generate the error map using the software using the raster calculator guys i'm going to compare both data sets my lidar data as reference data and my dtm i'm going to compare them pixel to pixel uh, using raster calculator and then to generate something that we will call error map as you will see and then after that after i have my error map i'm going to assess the accuracy by calculating the root mean square error as an indicator for my, for the accuracy of my digital terrain model. To do this, first I'm going to convert the raster error map that I generated here in step one into points. And then I will use some field statistics that's available within the software to help me to calculate the root mean square error that I mentioned. So now, guys, let's apply these steps to see how to assess the accuracy 
of any kind of digital elevation data using more accurate data. And I'm going to use LiDAR data, as I mentioned in my case. So let's open the software now, ArcMap. And then I have now here my digital terrain model. This is the DTM that I generated using ArcGIS, starting from a paper topographical map. And then my aim now is to assess the accuracy of this DTM by comparing it against more accurate one, which is this one, which is LiDAR data. This is again, as I mentioned, very accurate data with an accuracy of, ab of about five centimeters for the elevations. Now, before I start, guys, just I will let you have a look just to see the differences. I'm using now this uh, identify tool here, guys, here, this one, just to see the differences in elevations. When I click at any point randomly within the area, you will see here on my map, on my DTM that's generated from the map, the elevation of this point is 98 Point three four etc., and the elevation on the lidar data ninety eight point four. So there is a difference between these two within uh, like uh, a couple of centimeters. Let let me try another point here. So here I have more difference. The lidar data one hundred and two. The uh, topo map data one hundred and three etc. So. By doing that, just I'm comparing randomly some points around my area. Okay. So here, for example, let's go to this area, which is high area. So here I have 309 on my LiDAR data. And for the same point, this, the same exact point, it is 311.2 from my topographical map data. So now, guys, you have now a rough idea about what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do now is to find the difference between all of these numbers. Okay. I'm going to compare these two data sets. This one, the DTM that I generated from the topographic map against the LiDAR data. I'm going to compare them pixel to pixel. I'm going to find the difference between them using raster calculator. I will go here to search. And then I will search for RASA calculator, for example. And I will pick the RASA calculator from here, guys. This is my RASA calculator. And I have here two data sets, this one and this one. LiDAR data and my topographical map DTM data. Simply, I'm going to find the difference between them. So I would say this one, I will double click here on my map data. And then minus from the tools here, guys, here I have plus, minus, etc. a lot of operations that I can do, I will say minus my reference data, which is LiDAR data, like this. Okay? As simple as that. So I'm going to find the difference between this DTM and my reference DTM, which is LiDAR data. This minus that. And then the output, I would say, this is the output. I'm happy with the um, name and the location of, of my output error map. Now I will call this output an error map. So let's see. I will go to OK now. Now the software started to calculate the differences between the pixels. Now the process has been completed as you can see here. And I have my error map. Now let me just remove these two. This is my error map here, guys. If I click randomly, so when I click here, that means at this point, the difference between my DTM and the LiDAR DTM is 0 0.65, etc. Okay, so let me just see here. 
For example, when uh, I click here at this point, elevation here, as you can see here, the elevation 113 on the LiDAR data and the elevation 116 uh, on my map, my DTM. So the difference between them, this one, this is the era map is three meters, as you can see here, etc. So when you click, just we are trying to double check our work. So here 177 on LiDAR data, 178, and the difference between them is about 0 0.58 meters, etc. So this process, guys, we are comparing the data pixel to pixel. As you know, this is each one of these squares is called a pixel. Now, when I click here on this pixel, uh, the elevation data here, for LiDAR data, data, the value is 232 meters. The elevation value on the topographical map data, 231, and the difference between them that I called the error map here, 0 0.34, etc. So I'm happy with this. Now, the next stage, guys, as I mentioned, after you have your error map, you are going to convert this error map into points. Now, this is in a raster format. Okay, this map in a raster format. I'm going to con convert this format into points. Go to search here. You can just search raster to points. Okay, and then you will go here, raster to point. This one, guys, here, this one, raster to point. I will click here. I will input my raster data, which is this one. This is the era map. It's uh, called map 25K 30 meters C. This is my era map. And here, you will pick the value that you need. And the location of your output data. I'm happy with everything. I would say, okay. So now at this stage, guys, just I'm, I'm trying to convert my raster data into a point format so that I can apply some statistics later on for calculating the root mean square error. This is my aim from this stage. Let me remove this. Let's Close this one. Now this is the point format. As you can see here, the software has completed the conversion. I converted now the raster era map into points. Now guys, if you'd like to have a look at this points um, file, you can just zoom in. You would see just points. Each point will have a value. As you can see here, I will click here. Uh, I will have a value for this point. So this is the value of it. It's called grid code minus 2.4. This is the error value at this point, minus 2.4. For this one, for example, I'll click here. It is minus 1.5, etc. And for a better understanding, guys, let me just tick this error map here just to let you see where these points come from. They are just the values, the numerical values of these pixels. Now, each pixel here has a value. And then the software has converted this raster pixel here into a numerical value, which is a point, this one, for example, here. Okay. So as you can see here, the point here is 2.4. And it's called here grid code. 2.4, the same value, exactly the same value, okay, on both layers. So this is just to improve your understanding about this kind of step. Uh, what we have done here is just we converted the raster image into points format. Now, guys, our aim, don't forget, was to assess the accuracy uh, of our DTM. To assess the accuracy, we are going to calculate the root mean square error, which is the same of the standard deviation for all of these error values. And if you are wondering why the root mean square error is the same, the standard deviation, this is a long story. You can search for its uh, proof. But for now, what we are going to do is 
point file guys here right click on it and then open attribute table let's open the attribute table for these points and here you will see all the values the grid codes here these are the error values so for the, this point for this point guys this one the first point as you can see here this is the error value 0 0.07 for this one this is the error value etc okay so each point has an error value in this column what we are going now to do is to calculate the standard deviation of all of these values these are the errors between my DTM that I generated from the topographic map and the accurate DTM from LiDAR data now the standard deviation of all of these errors is the root mean square error how to calculate this right click on the column here and then go to statistics this is the important thing for us all the statistics would be here so one click here and i have the results and this is the important thing for us these are the statistics here for example so we know that this field which is called grid code in this case this is the field that contains all the error values the minimum error value minus 20 meters the maximum error value 19 meters, etc. The mean, the summation. Now, the most important number here, which is the standard deviation, which is 2.296. So, the accuracy of our DTM that we generated from the topographic map by using the LiDAR data as reference data is 2.296 meters. So, this is the accuracy of our DTM. So this is how to assess the accuracy in this method. Of course, as I mentioned before, there are a lot of methods you can use them. This is one of them and it is accurate to a very high level uh, because we compare all the pixels, all the elevation values uh, one to one. Okay, we're, we're not leaving any kind of value. But the important thing here that you need to use a very accurate data. In my case, I used LiDAR data with a resolution, spatial resolution of two meters with a vertical accuracy of five centimeters, which is very, very accurate. And relative to this reference data, relative to the LiDAR data, I can say now that the accuracy of the DTM that I generated from the topographic map is 2.296. And this is the value of the root mean square error or the standard deviation. For more information about why the root mean square error is the same standard deviation, there is a proof for that. In fact, a mathematical proof for that. You can search and find the proof if you are interested in that. But for now, we achieved our aim, in fact, from this video, which is assessing the accuracy of any kind of elevation data using a reference data which are with a better accuracy, okay? And by using the functions and tools available within the ArcMap software. Okay, so I hope that this session was useful to you. At some point, it might be heavy a bit because it requires some good theoretical background about all of these sort of things. But just I wanted to simplify the uh, process of assessing the accuracy of elevation data. Okay, thank you very much for listening and enjoy your time. Bye now.